Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie and today I wanna to share my game tracking journal. So like my manga collecting, I have to track my game collecting too or I will double buy. For example, last weekend I did not have this notebook with me so I bought two Cooking Mama games that I didn't already have. I feel so bad about it, but I have to try a way to get rid of those. Anyways, so let's go ahead and look at this. Um, here's my little intro page I made recently. I don't remember who made all these stickers, but I know I backed these two on a set that were on Kickstarter. And then the rest I got from Etsy. But yeah, this is my cute cover page. So the way I did this, let's see, is mostly by series. I do have like a miscellaneous page but I wanted to do by series, starting with Crystal Chronicles. So what I did, I did one color that is acquired in another color either that I couldn't get or like um, for some you'll see that they're released in Japan only. Um, but yeah, once I get them, I highlight the game and then I highlight which edition I got. And yeah, so that's basically it. It's pretty simple, but um, simple is best when you're collecting because I don't want to confuse myself and like I said I don't want to buy extra so I got Rune Factory which I'm almost done with and then the Ye Yeas collection <laughs> um I've been working on that this one I've only been doing on Steam I haven't been doing this physically the Tales of Games the Mana series which I think I think I have more than I have highlighted. I might have to double check this one, actually. Hello Kitty Games, which I just got another one. I need to update this. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't even think right now. Oh, and I do have to say that my adventure in Gameland for Rugrats just shipped too, so I'll be having that soon. Oh, and for some of these, I do have the filled in the dots if I have it pre-ordered. Barbie games, which I didn't write down the one I had for some reason. And then we have the Cookie Mama games, which I bought extra of, apparently. And then we have Hyper Dimension, which I didn't realize how many games were in there, but it's a bunch now. And then Katamari. Look at this cute sticker. Summon Night, which most are Japan only. Very disappointing, because I really love that series. Um... Super Monkey Ball, which I think I might need to add another one. River King. And then we have our miscellaneous. Oops, by Gengar. And yeah, that's it. So this is just for game collecting. I am working on another one for like games that I play and like want to play, wish list kind of thing. Um, games that are coming up in the coming year and my backlog, stuff like that. So that's actually probably going to be a different journal. That way I can easily take this with me when I do go to buy games. And I'm not carrying like a whole bunch of stuff around. So yeah, uh, this one was a bit simple compared to like my anime and manga bullet journal. But it does its job and is very like, this is what I need. So I didn't mention it before, but this is actually a Happy Notes notebook from the Happy Planner. And it is like the mini size, I believe. These are some of my favorite books because you can, whoop, that was my fault, sorry. You can get these um, various sizes. Um, you can take this off, these disc bound ones. You can like take these off. You can put in the pages you want or take them out. And they have a variety of page types, as you can see. So like we have some like calendar ones and stuff like this. I repurposed this notebook. To, I don't even remember what I used it for <laughs> before this, but yeah, I like this because of its size specifically and it's just easy to use. So yeah, um, if you have any ideas on how I can start my next gaming journal that I'm currently <laughs> planning, please let me know. Like I have ideas for what pages I want. I just don't know how I want to start it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you next time. Bye.